Hello, it's me. Now welcome back to this special video. Stop, hold on. I have forgotten to record some dumb way to ask you to like the video and maybe even subscribe to this channel. And that's why I'm here now, the post-production me. And since I have no idea, no creativity of my own, the only thing I can do is ask you with a please. A pretty please with cherry on top. And if you don't like cherries, then that's good because I don't like them as well. Seriously, they taste disgusting. Anyway, I don't want to hold you off for too long. Have fun with the rest and maybe give it a shot. You know, liking and stuff. Whoa, what the hell? It felt like I was frozen in time for a bit. Like some kind of intermission. Well, let's just get on with the video. It may not be special for you, but it's pretty special for me. Because this time, I'm gonna tackle faces. And the one thing I hate, you've heard right, I am disgusted by them. I adore every single person who can just draw a face out of nothing. Because I don't know why, but it is the single hardest thing for me to draw. You could think, well, I know what faces look like. You look at them every single day, you just have that in your mind, right? Apparently not. As soon as I pick up a pen, my mind goes blank. I have no idea what a face looks like. There's a big no signal sign in my head where the folder for face shapes and face compositions should be. So as you might have already guessed, I have a extremely hard time whenever I have to draw a face. And of course, I know that as well. And that is why I always train making faces. And up until recently, I did not make great progress. Part of the reason is because I didn't really practice a lot. And as we all know, practice makes perfect. And since nobody's perfect, we can just practice for eternity because we're never gonna be good enough. But that's okay. We only have to be good enough to be personally satisfied. At least that's the way I see it. Not just with faces, but with everything. And now that I've been monologuing for almost two minutes, let's just get into the video where I talk about my journey. Now then, the first thing I want to make clear is that I almost always use a good reference. And that is mostly because I have no idea where to place my stuff. Okay, I know how to draw an eye, I know how to draw a nose. It's really not that hard. But first off, drawing them in the right spot and at the right angle, that's the hard thing for me. Especially three quarter views. Some say they are the easiest because the eyes don't look the same, but for some reason, I cannot grasp the principle of making one eye another shape. It always sucks. It just doesn't look good. And because it never looks good, I mean all my faces, I avoided it. I avoided drawing faces for so long, it's almost laughable. I would make sketches and studies and I would just leave the head blank. Because I was afraid of drawing faces, because I knew it would not look good. I would be dissatisfied and the sketch would be ruined. Even though I draw in digital and, you know, there's literally nothing that could ruin it. Since there's always the undo button, but still, I'm just naive. Now about three to four months ago, I got up and I said, all right, I need to draw faces. If I can't draw faces, I'm never going to be an artist. So I did. And trust me, it was horrible. I'm blending in some of my first face drawings. Well, I mean, they weren't my first face drawings, but they were the drawings I made first when I got up and said to myself, yeah, you know what, I'm going to train them. And as you can hopefully see, they don't look good. They're pretty awful. And it was true agony to just keep drawing them because they were so bad. I, I really felt bad for myself. Like I thought for sure 10 times every single drawing 
Oh my god, I cannot do that. I am never gonna be an artist. I should just quit. Well, here we are. I'm still not an artist, but at least I didn't quit. And my face drawings, they got a little better. They're still not on a level where I would say, yeah, I am totally satisfied with them. And they will probably never be. But they're on a level where I can safely say I have improved. And the biggest improvement, or the biggest improvement spike I had, was really just recently. Like, two to three weeks ago. And it wasn't a gradual curve where I just improved more and more. It was really a spike. One day I got up, I drew a face, and it looked not totally awful. I was like, what? What the fuck? How? Wh what did I do? And I thought, oh my god, I have it. I have it, it has made click, and I can draw faces now. So, naturally, I tried to draw another one, which turned out super freaking awful. And it bummed me out. It bummed me out so much I didn't draw for like a week. After said week, I obviously tried it again. And all the faces I drew from then on were not super awful. I could tell there was some kind of improvement. I wasn't happy with it, but I could tell I've improved. I didn't know how I improved in this week where I didn't draw, but something just changed. And knowing that something changed while I didn't actually do something for it, it brought me the idea of doing it consciously. So I would draw for a few days and then I would just not draw at all or draw things that I liked, I could already draw or just trained other things I was bad at. And lo and behold, every single time I could see actual improvement. Much more than I could see when I drew the entire time before. As in, I drew for two months straight. Faces only. Well, not only faces, but a big part of what I drew were faces. Because I thought, if I want to improve at faces, I have to draw hundreds of them. Maybe a thousand. And in these two months, I learned about as much, or you could say I improved about as much as in two weeks with drawing them for a bit and then just chilling out, not drawing or drawing things that I like or trying other things out, drawing other things that are hard for me, just not specifically drawing faces in my case. Now, what I want to tell you is Sometimes it's better not to draw than to draw. It might seem weird, but I researched a little bit and I watched some videos, you know, the typical Facebook mom research, and almost all videos and stuff said the same thing, that if you don't do it for a while, the things that you learned beforehand while doing it get imprinted in your brain. Or something like that. And if you constantly try to learn something, then your brain doesn't have the time to actually memorize it. It just stays in your short-term memory and eventually will get thrown out. At least that's the way I understood all those videos. Maybe it's right, maybe it's total bullshit. All I can say is that if you want to improve, then you just gotta take some time to not improve to have your brain chill a little bit and then you can tackle your problem with a new mindset and a relaxed mind well now it's been a good part over eight minutes and i will have to say goodbye in order to not make this video a decade long i wish every single one of you good drawing much improvement I'll see you next time. Goodbye.